Hey, thanks, Alon, but I'm already up. Today is gonna be amazing. <laughs> All right, Queens, here I come. Today's the day. I had these abilities for about a month. Time to see what they can really do. Monstrous champion, Coach Hogan. Oh boy, he's a little guy by the looks of it. Please welcome to the ring, the amazing Spider-Man. Seriously, this is who I'm supposed to fight? <laughs> what am I, a dog? <laughs> a David and Goliath reference. You do remember how that story ends for the big guy, right? Where'd you go? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Pro Wrestler Guy. I gotta say, I ain't impressed. I think we should change your name to Dumpster Hogan. You're mine, little man. Aliyup. Truth be told, I have no idea how strong I am, so I promise I'll pull my punches. Phew, maybe after this you can take a course on personal hygiene. Don't get your panties in the water, just a thought. How about you quit all these tricks and actually hit me? You got it. I guess we have a winner! Eat your heart out, Flash Thompson. And I can't wait to see the look on his face when I pull up to Midtown on my very own wheels that I paid for myself. These powers are finally going to put me on top. Hey, stop that guy! What are you doing? He's right there! Sorry, buddy. I'm a wrestler, not a cop. Not my problem. Not my problem. It's you. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry, Uncle Ben. I promise, from this day forward, I will use these powers for the good of others, no matter what. I now know that with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Quit wasting our time and get out of here! Why don't you face me like a man, coward? I'm really getting sick of this bug, man. Yeah, I bet. What's this, like the sixth time this month, Marco? 
The big man's getting sick of it too. Keep putting a dent in his crime empire and he's gonna have your head. Big man, huh? And who might that be? So Marco Blabbermouth decided to relate to the bug that there's a big man. I'll be requiring your assistance to take care of this once and for all. Something I can help you with, Skullface? I'm just here to watch and learn. Learn what exactly? Data analyzing complete. Sending your way now. This menace needs to be brought to justice! Wait, so let me get this straight. You can't take that suit off? Man, this JJ guy must have paid you a lot of money. Personally, there's no amount in the world that can make me do that. I kind of feel like you're coming after the wrong person. Maybe you're right. Get over it, Gargan! Help you up, Picklepuss? So this JJ Pook actually funded a scientist to create a supervillain just for Spider-Man. Indeed. And this scorpion kept him occupied for over a week. Video Log 33. I have been hired to create enhanced individuals to distract Spider-Man from, quote, controlled petty crime. Hey, you must be Peter Parker. Welcome to campus. I'm Harry Osborne. I guess we'll be rooming together. Oh, and this is Gwen. Welcome to the beautiful partner. You're gonna hate it. This is Brock. We'll see which one of you can get a staff job. Wasn't she black clothing terrorizing the entire town? Horrified to learn that my company had anything to do with this. You know what to do. So you must be the big man. Nope, but now he knows who you are. You blew it, Spidey. Now the big man knows who you are. And anyone who looks at that footage. And what do you want? Just your crime empire. That story, Eddie, it'll destroy Dr. Connors. Journal entry 59. The domino effect is real. Very real. And the path it creates leads to both good and bad. If I stopped that crook, my uncle would still be alive. Same goes for Gwen. If I hadn't allowed myself to get cocky when going at the tombstone, my secret identity never would have been revealed to the real big man. And that monster never would have known how best to hurt me. I will find you someday. And then of course there's Eddie, allowing myself to indulge in that alien to soften the pain of the loss of Gwen, not caring how aggressive and bullheaded it made me. I never would have gotten Eddie fired, and he never would have become Venom. A fitting name. A dude that can replicate my powers, hide from my spider sense, and know my innermost thoughts truly is like a poison. Yes, the path is riddled with cracks. But hey, Pete, come on. It's not all bad. I got a lot of great relationships. Before she passed, my connection with May was never better. And I'm thankful for that. I'm universally accepted by the universally acceptable heroes of the world. So, that's nice, I guess. George Stacy, Gwen's dad. Gwen never knew about the mask, but I have a feeling Captain Stacy always had his suspicions. He continues to give me, well, 
Spider-Man. Inside information on crime around the city. Huge help. Doc Connors. Great guy. Other than that whole lizard thing. My buddy Harry. He's proven himself time and time again to be a good friend. Even though he's finding himself in Europe right now. Miss you, bro. His father, Norman. A businessman through and through. And sadly never had much of a relationship with Harry. But I can honestly say, he's always been able to fill that void of a positive parental role model in my life. And then of course there's you, MJ. The most important person in all of this. You're always there to pick me up when I fall. Even this whole recording my thoughts in a journal thing was your idea. To be honest, it's not really my thing. But you'd never steer me wrong. Anyway, I guess that's it for today. Time to finally take care of some unfinished business. And let the dominoes fall where they may. Captain Stacy? Uh, can we define there? You're calling for a vent right now, aren't you? A vent? Uh, no. What? Look, we have to go as by the book as possible. Just please don't knock him out. Don't knock him out? By the book. You got it. Alright, Willie, the jig is up. You got the right to remain silent. Is that the hand? You got the hand working for you? Man, Daredevil said you were trouble. You do realize throwing ninjas at me doesn't exactly make you look innocent. All right, where you at, Willie? Let me guess, in the tallest room of the tallest tower, waiting for your Prince Charming, a.k.a. me. You know, no offense, but... Your security's a little lackluster. I'm starting to think that 10 years is too long, Willie. I don't think you're gonna live up to the expectation in my head. Uh oh. You have been a pain for me and Mr. Fisk for far too long. Today this ends. Jeez, talk about a headache. I have absolutely, positively had it up to here with your presence! So you must be uh, Hammerhead. Uh, uh. What gave it away? Feels like an adamantium plate. Uh, I've been punched by Wolverine enough to know. At least you don't hit as hard as that other guy. My ears were burning. Dang it! Uh, not a, uh, again! Uh, uh. Been a long time. I love reminding people how hard I hit. Uh, this hurts worse than I'm day at the gym. Crap. I gotta hand it to you, kid. You can take a punch. Even though I'm killing you today, just know you have my respect. Ah! Uh, I swear this guy's made it out of a tombstone. I'm getting way too old for this. Oh, come on! You know, Lonnie, I can't believe I ever thought you were the big man. You ain't that tough. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Have I been going too easy on you? Because we can fix that right now. Is that how you fix it? By letting me beat the crap out of you? Keep trying, Hammy. You'll get me eventually. You could hit me all day, kid. But unless you have something as dense as me, you ain't breaking through. Will an unbreakable metal headplate work? Huh, I guess so. I'll bet I'll wait for future reference. I knew you'd be here before the police. Would you look at that? I'm early to send it for once. I wouldn't consider ten years of searching early. But I must say, I'm impressed. I don't think you realize your full potential. And I don't think you realize that when you're full, you should stop eating. <laughs> Are you aware of what a power vacuum is, child? Um, yeah, isn't that the definition of your mouth at a buffet? All jokes aside, a power vacuum is what you're going to experience if you attempt to remove me from the chain of command. Ah, yes. I'm well versed in the domino effect. Then you understand that removing the kingpin from the equation could be catastrophic for you. Every action has consequences, some good, some bad. All I know is you have to go. Allow me to propose something mutually beneficial. We both know I know everything about you, Peter Parker. You're falling upon hard times. It's difficult to pay the bills with a freelance photography salary. Just imagine how much you could earn with me with all of that raw talent, skill, and power. I didn't realize this was a job interview, Willie. Sorry, but I'm responsible with my power, unlike you. I am not proposing that you stop fighting crime. In fact, I encourage that you continue. I want this city cleaned up just as much as you. However, there is crime, and then there is a business. If you simply look the other way at the quote-unquote crime that I choose, Things could go very well for you and that lovely wife of yours. Look, buddy, you are definitely barking up the wrong tree. I'm not the kind of guy that looks the other way. Not again. And I don't take kindly to threats on my family. Well, then I suppose there is nothing more to discuss. Whoa, that's quite a grip you got there. I may be large, my friend, but only 2% is body fat. Man, it feels good to finally do that. And only 2%? You do not wear it well. In one month, you'll feel this ripple effect. Planning on jumping in a pool? Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure that ripple effect would take about a month. Well, I was right, Willie. You don't live up to the hype. If you're successful in this, you're going to miss having the king been around. It's true. You are the squishiest punching bag I've ever worked out with. It's awesome. You're a fool, Parker. You should have taken my deal. Sorry, Willie. Maybe you'll find a new flunky in prison. As I said, foolish. Wilson Fisk, Big Man, Kingpin, so many names. I got a new one for you. How do you like Inmate? Yeah, I think that suits you nicely.
Uh, Captain Stacy, so about what you said in regards to knocking him out. It's a sad day in New York. Riots in the streets, officers and civilians getting killed, and why? Because Spider-Man took out Wilson Fisk, the one man that kept these thugs under control! Crime was not running rampant until the kingpin of crime was taken down! And to make matters worse, New York's finest are so overwhelmed that a bunch of supervillains from the raft have escaped! Parker, get in here! Yeah, JJ? These freaks have all congregated down at Central Park! Go get me pictures! Hang it out of the shot! Don't you see that we're live? This is G. Jonah Jameson with Daily Bugle News. Man, Willie did call it. One month. How did things get so bad so fast? He really did keep these guys in check. Did I do the right thing? I mean, he's evil. I, I, he had to go down. But man, things were bad. No, Pete, you did the right thing. He had to go. <sighs> I'm just overthinking this. I always do. At least I think I do. Whoa, what the? Hey. Is that what I think it is? Dr. Otto Octavius. I thought that was you. You know, I gotta thank you. Those supervillains you created gave me such a big headache, I don't even notice when I'm low on caffeine. Back away, Spider-Man. And you might survive. Might survive. That's cute, that's cute. Hey, isn't there a place you're supposed to be and not here at Oscorp creepily looking at it? Norman and I have some unfinished business. Yeah, I bet. Norman's gotta be pretty ticked at you. You turned his entire facility into a do-it-yourself supervillain tycoon. You of all people, Spider-Man, should know not to trust the media. That's very true. It's biased as heck. It sees what it wants to see. But it currently sees you as guilty. And unless something changes, you got a sentence to serve. Imbecile. Whoa, you have four metal arms? That is awesome, dude. Also a little too on the nose. That gives you eight limbs total. Otto Octavius, Doc Ock. Now it makes sense. Men, the Central Park distraction didn't play out. He's here. Follow my coordinates. Wow, those things are strong. Believe it or not, I think you hit harder than Tombstone. What are these things made of? Reinforced steel, titanium, adamantium, vibranium, a little bit of everything? I've considered in the past developing kind of a spider armor. I'd love to talk shop. Am I to believe that you're some kind of scientist? I dabble. Well, do me a kindness and undabble in my affairs with Norman. Doc, Doc, stick to the metal arms. Your punches feel like wet noodles. Continue meddling, Spider-Man. You will leave me no choice. 
Ugh, no choice? No choice for what? No choice but to bring you down. Permanently. <laughs> you and what army? Whoa! Okay, this is the front of the train. Hey, Doc, keep your pets on a leash, will you? So you got Rhino with you. Anybody else? Oh, man. Ugh. Didn't Ugh. I just Ugh. go through this? Ugh. What's up, bug man? Oh, Marco, the four of you guys are working together? <laughs> four of us? So good to see you, Spider-Man! Max, put me down. I hate it when the bad guys team up. Oh, please tell me that's all of them. Ha! You thought it would be so simple. Craven, what are you doing work with these goons? You ain't one of the Doc's creations. First and final warning. Stay out of our way. So you're calling on the Sinister Six, huh? Got a problem with that? No, no, it's, it's good. I, I like it. Of course you do, Parker! The name just came to me. And as soon as I can prove that Spider-Man was involved, it'll be the Sinister Seven. Wow. Want to hear something absolutely crazy, Parker? People are actually blaming the Sinister Six on me! They're claiming that I inspired the mob to create supervillains just because I funded the creation of Scorpion! Thank you, Gargan! Didn't you take credit for exactly that when this whole thing first happened? Yeah! But now there's a lawsuit! Anyway, go talk to Osborne. I want to know why Octavius is so fixated on killing him. Why me? I'm not a reporter. Because you're best friends. And because you got Eddie fired. Well, not best friends, Jonah. I mean, I'm close with his son, but- I don't care! You're the in on this one! There's the door! Mr. Thoreau, it's Peter. You got a second? For you, Parker, I have all the time in the world. So J. Jonah Jameson wants to know how I'm involved with this Sinister Six debacle. Yeah, I know you're not. I'm really sorry to waste your time. Don't you dare apologize. I never do. And I suppose I am involved to a degree. You see, Dr. Otto Octavius blames me for his imprisonment. Yeah, why is that exactly? Why else, Parker? I was his employer during his arrest. But I can assure you, I was completely unaware of his actions. Look, Norman, you don't have to convince me. I've known you and Harry forever. I trust you. Speaking of Harry, he will be home soon. Perhaps the two of you can start that business you always talked about. Or, of course, that job offer I made you back in college still stands. I know that it's strange that I offer you a job and not my own son. It's just your intellectual prowess has always been more impressive. As much as I appreciate that, Mr. Osborne, I have to decline. Things are going pretty good at the Bugle. Mr. O, what is this doing here? You recognize the glider. Parker, this has to remain off the record. I know what you're thinking. Why do I have something that belonged to the Green Goblin? Well, I can assure you, it didn't belong to him. He was simply a maniac who broke into Oscorp, stole our tech, and sadly misused it. Wait, I don't remember reading about that. Do you have any idea who he is? Unfortunately, that is still under investigation. 
You see, Oscorp was commissioned to create a task force to save the city in a maximum calamity situation. The tech that the goblins stole and misused belonged to said task force. Thus, the announcement has been delayed. That's the security alarm. Apparently there's been a breach. Stay here, Parker. You'll be safe. And please, Parker, not a word of this to J. Jonah Jameson. The announcement of the task force will come at the proper time. I hope you're ready to pay in blood, Osborne. Ugh, I thought I asked you to stay out of the way. You know, Doc, for someone who watched me as long as you did, you sure don't know what I'm about. All right, Doc. Let's see how far you go with that spidey tracer on you. Okay, a bit of a setback. That could have gone a lot smoother. Captain Stacy, do you know anything about a task force that's being created by Oscorp? A force. In fact, we're involved. Not just us, Stark Industries too. How do you know about that? Really? Norman and Tony working together. That's weird. I always thought they hated each other. All right, well, I was just checking in. I'll talk to you later. Speaking of checking in. Hey, Fury. How is she? Miss Watson is doing just fine. Hey, that's Mrs. Parker, believe it or not. I'm sorry to just drop her on you guys. I just thought she'd be safer with this whole Wilson Fist thing going on. You certainly seem to have your hands full, kid. What's this Sinister Six thing I'm hearing about? Do we need to get involved? No, no, I'm on top of it. Taking care of it as we speak. You're taking care of it, huh, Spider-Man? Octavius, how the heck did you get on here? That little spider tracer you threw on me is quite an impressive piece of equipment. I guess you are a scientist. Who knew? Where's Norman Otto? Strapped to a bomb of my design. Just follow the coordinates on that spider tracer of yours. There's several locations. See if you can find them. You're not gonna get away with this, Doc. I can't believe the doc is sending me on fetch quests. It's like a video game. Huh, a video game about my life. Would that sell? I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. For something that wish I had playing about the world of Alright, so what am I looking for? Not a whole lot happened at location number one. Hey there, Spidey. Herman Schultz! Oh, I get it. There's gonna be a different bad guy I gotta fight at every location, huh? Oh, I've been dying to bash your skull in for some time, Spidey. Even without that stuff the Doc promised me, this is super sweet. Ow, right, Shaka hits hard. The Doc promised you something? What, did he pay you all up to fight me? Let's just say we're all gonna be sitting pretty once you and Osborne are dealt with. You're such a chump. Hey, what the heck does Octavius blame Osborne for anyway? If anyone should be upset, it should be Norman. I know I'd be upset if someone used my lab like that. You know, to create losers like you. Do I look like the kind of person that would have that information? Do you look like the kind of person that would have that kind of information? Hmm, maybe not. But, do you look like the kind of person that could have brains? Mm, probably not. And finally, do you look like someone whose tech just got wrecked by a bunch of web fluid and is going back to the raft? What the heck, man? This stuff's expensive! Definitely.
All right, Shaka was a headache, per usual. What's next? According to this, the next baddie should be right about... Marco, this is what I love about you. You're so hot-headed, yet I can still do this. Kindly remove your fist from my face, bug. So tell me, Sandy, why are you doing this? All you ever cared about was a big score. Taking down a huge corporation like Oscorp and an annoying little crap like you? Seems pretty big to me. You've always been such a pain in my behind, Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Note to self. Bring equal amount of pain to every part of Sandman's body. And with that, the Sandman was put to sleep. You got that backwards, bug. The Sandman puts you to sleep. Well then I guess I'm about to have a good dream. Could you be more annoying? Okay. Hey Sandy, remind me. You like coming to construction sites because of the concrete, right? Don't. Oh, a little Marco sickle. Don't worry. I'll send the cops to get you. Well, these baddies are going down pretty easy. Maybe that Parker Luck is looking up for a change. And all I had to do was give it a second. <laughs> Alexi, good to see ya. So I hear the docs promising you guys stuff to fight me. What you gonna get? Attending your funeral is definitely good enough. So, like, how would that work suit-wise? You have to go to, like, a big and tall? Because I think they might even struggle finding your size. I mean, you're not fat. You know, you're, you're swole. You look good, bro. You gotta give me some tips on bulking at the gym. You've gotta shut up. Don't you hate it when someone just doesn't shut up and just keep going on and on and on and on and on? Whew, you know what, Lexi? This is nice. We haven't cuddled in a while. You know, truthfully, I'm kind of scared you can't see. Let's get that mask off. <laughs> crap, crap, crap. You see that building, right? Captain Stacy, Rhino took out a building. I'm pretty sure it was slated for demolition, but there could be casualties. As long as you're around, there will always be casualties. You've got no one to blame but yourself. All right, Pete, think. I gotta find a way to stop him.
Oh God, we're back in the city. Lexi, buddy, I'm gonna need you to pull over, all right? Come on, Spidey, think, think. I can't let him take out another building. Next one may not be vacant. Will you please stop this train? Come on, Alexi. Hey, that's the Wakandan Embassy. I think the child had told me that the back wall is completely made of vibranium. Oh, well, I hope this works. All right, Rhino, turn around. Oh, my head's stuck. <sighs> Good. I won't have to waste any web fluid on you while we wait for the cops. Alright Spidey, that building turned out to be vacant after all. But that was way too close. When there's innocent civilians involved, remember your promise. No matter what. So the next location is Central Park, New York's closest thing to a jungle. I wonder who's next. Yep, that's what I thought. So Craven, again, why are you working with the doc? It's not like you to join a team. A true hunter is only as strong as his pack. And yet somehow with me, you're still the prey. I will bury you. Yeah, because that worked so well last time. Always my favorite hunt. Hey, you can put someone's eye out with that. All right, Britney Spears, we get it. Dang, how many of these things you got? All right, this is getting old real quick. And now he's jumping towards me. I promise, if it's the last thing I'll ever do, I will trap you. A trap, huh? <laughs> That's an idea. Welcome to Hotel Spidey. I hope you enjoy your stay. Max, you're the only one left. Come on out. Also, an electric power plant, really? Could you be more cliche? You're gonna fry, Spider-Man! Ugh, oh, please spam me the cheesy supervillain lines and just beat me up. Catch me if you can, webhead! Hey, you know something else that's kind of a cliche? Every time we fight, I always gotta chase you. It's also a cliche that you get in the way of my plans. You mean like when I stop you from destroying the city and killing people? I know, I'm such an annoyance. But you never make it easy, Maxie. Of course I don't make it easy. This is a chase, not a... Walk in the park? Dude, you say that every time. I get it, you're sick of the cliches. But I got another one for you. Well, I guess that means I know where we're headed. And yes, very cliche. Yo, Electro, I know you like this place because it juices you up, but come on, there's too many people around. How's about we go to like a nice field somewhere? There can even be power lines, I don't care. Oh, we're staying right here, Spidey. Suit yourself, but if you get to use the environment to your advantage, then so do I. Use anything you want. Nothing's more powerful than me. I don't need something to be more powerful. I just need something that can dampen your power.
good luck finding something around here that can do that. Ha, now you're finished. What? That should have electrocuted you. I fought you before, Max. I know how to use a rubber-based suit. Didn't you used to be an electrician? Sure was. That's why I know I am all-powerful. Pure energy can't be stopped. Apparently it can if you have a water tower around. So if sand and electricity wasn't enough, I guess I gotta do water. Last location's underneath the Statue of Liberty. What is this place? Some kind of secret underwater layer slash lab? That's precisely what it is, Spider-Man. Right where you stand is where all those supervillains were created to distract you from Wilson Fisk's crime empire. Hey, look at you, finally taking responsibility for all your wrongdoings. I did the work I was forced to do. Forced by Norman. Right, still sticking with that story. No proof, no evidence, but still sticking to it. I'm done trying to convince the world. Norman is a virus that must be eradicated. Someday, they will thank me. The ends will justify the means. Yeah, speaking of the means, I'm not understanding yours. What was the whole point of this supervillain posse? The same point they've always had. A distraction. Besides, I needed assistance breaking out of the raft. I suppose I can thank you for that. You taking down Wilson Fisk created just the crime surge I needed to pull this off. You know, shifting the blame seems to be your thing, Doc. Why have me go after each individual one and take them out if they're your teammates? I needed to promise them something to get them to help me. Now I don't have to fulfill those promises. Again, thank you. Lies on top of lies with you, man. What about that bomb you were talking about? Was that a lie too? No. expect me to believe that you just killed Spider-Man. I expect you to stand there with your hands tied behind your back and your mouth shut until we go live in 15 minutes. And then I expect you to tell the entire world what you did. Admit what you forced me to do. And I expect you to apologize. I have nothing to apologize for, Otto. And besides, you know I don't do that. Yes, please, kill me. Show the world what you really are. That's what I thought. Weak. Don't worry, Otto. Once we're finished here, I won't have you sent back to the raft. I'll have you committed to Ravencroft. Making me look insane won't do a thing, Osborne. The world already has an opinion of me. But soon, they will have a new one of you. fall trapped on the water and debris here's running out I don't think I can lift this you had a good run Spidey Uncle Ben I swear I gave him my all enough. Harry's gonna lose his dad just like... No. Come on, Spider-Man. You've still got a fight in you. Come on. Come on, Spider-Man. You can do it. Come on. Come on! You can't let Harry lose his dad. The way I lost my parents, 
and the way her loss been. You can't put him through that. You can do this. Come on. City. I have hacked the Bugle's monitor today to finally expose the monstrosity of Norman Osborne. As you all know, I served time for creating supervillains to distract or otherwise kill Spider-Man. But what you don't know is that I was forced to do this by Norman Osborne. Now I realize that I am not completely innocent in this situation, but today the truth comes out. I was finally successful in killing Spider-Man, so he's not coming to save Mr. Osborne. But if any of you other tight-wearing freaks out there come even within a mile of Oscorp, you have a dead man on your hands. Speak, Osborne. Speak the truth. The truth. Very well. Octavius was indeed an employee at Oscorp, and we paid him very well. But apparently not well enough. Why would you do it, Otto? Why would you work for a man as evil as Fisk just to make some extra cash? What's up, Otto? How about we finish this? Look, Octavius, if your claims are true, it's horrible. Let me help you. Go about this a different way. Please, man, you don't gotta do it like this. You're supposed to be dead, Spider-Man. Yeah, I get that a lot. Your days of getting in my way are over. So that's a note of me helping you, right? He's gone. Why do you insist on protecting this scum? Because I got the power to do it. And as far as I can see, you're the bad guy. As I said before, Norman is a virus that must be eradicated. I guess you are too. You know, Doc, I'd say you have a virus too. But unfortunately, you can't fix crazy. I will not stop until Osborne has paid for all of my pain and suffering. First, I'll kill his son. And since you're so eager to help, Osborne, I suppose you'll receive the same punishment. Your wife still held up that shield? I tried to help you, Doc. But you wouldn't listen. You're a smart guy, Octavius, but too stupid to realize that the ends do not justify these means. Spider-Man, give it time. You'll come to the same conclusion I did.
Spider-Man, I'm glad you're here. I didn't get a chance to thank you for saving me from that monster. Save it. I stopped Doc Ock because he was doing the wrong thing. But if it turns out that what he was saying was true, you and I are going to have a very different conversation. Well, Spidey, that was the craziest thing you've experienced in a while. I think things are finally going to start to look up. Ladies and gentlemen of New York, this is Norman Osborn speaking of Oscorp Industries. I beg you, please remain calm. Some time ago, the murderous monster known as the Green Goblin broke into Oscorp and stole our glider tech, along with something called a Clintar. This alien species, also known as a symbiote, was somehow replicated and mass-produced by the Goblin. I assure you that help is on the way. We've had enough of the boring talk. Hey, Spidey, come find us. So the Green Goblin created a mass symbiote invasion. I knew he was evil, what the heck? And now I got Eddie back, what? He's gotta have something to do with this. Come find me, Spidey. How am I supposed to do that, Eddie? You're invisible to my spider sense, don't you remember that? Actually, no, he probably doesn't. His memory's always been terrible. Hey there, Spidey. We're back. Yeah, I see that. And smell it. How'd you get out of Ravencroft? You cut some kind of deal with the Green Goblin? That's low even for you. How might a deal like that go? I know Goblin sold a black suit from Oscorp. And now you have it. So what were the terms? Turn the whole city into a clintar infested wasteland? And then you get your symbiote and freedom? <laughs> Look at you using your intuition. The word Brock is intuition. And really? You actually did that? Not everything is as it seems, Spidey. Alright, so which is it? Did you or did you not help the goblin do this? Let's just say he approached us, but we prefer to work alone. So no, we didn't cause this invasion. Oh, a train fight again? Really? You can't beat the classics, Parker. Eddie, alright, listen, I believe you that you weren't involved in all this. But tell me, do you know who the Green Goblin is? Why? You're planning on getting him back for Gwen? If you know who he is, Eddie, you better tell me. We'll tell you what we know if you can beat us.
All right, Venom, talk. Who's behind the goblin mask? We don't know, Parker. We need your help. You need my help? What are you talking about? Listen, don't rub it in. But we need your help to kill Cletus Cassidy. The serial killer? Why do you want to kill him? For the same reason you want to kill the goblin. Cassidy killed our girl. Uh, I don't I don't want to kill the goblin. You know I don't do that, Eddie. Sure, whatever you say, Parker. You gonna help us kill Carnage or not? Again, you know I don't kill. And Carnage? That's Cassidy's new name. Now that he has his own bond with his own Clintor. Wait, wait, are you telling me that a symbio-infected serial killer is responsible for this invasion? Look, we didn't take the Goblin's deal. We got to a point where we could reunite and that was it. Brock and the other are finally Venom again. So the Goblin had a plan B. Our offspring. He took another Clintar, gave it to Cassidy, and here we are. His first act as carnage was killing Dr. Kafka. Our girl. Cassidy likely knows who your Green Goblin is. If you help us, you'll get your information. So, Eddie, not like I'm annoyed by this, except for the fact that I totally am. Why'd you attack me if you needed my help? Hmm, for fun. So how come you're claiming you're not going to kill the goblin? You know why I don't kill, Eddie. I guess we forgot. Right, that memory of yours. Look, when my uncle and parents were taken from me by the hands of somebody else, the way that that made me feel, I can't imagine doing that to someone. The bad guys, they've got friends and family too. People that will be directly affected by my actions, and I have to think about that. Besides, I don't believe there's anybody out there that's truly evil. Just individuals that have yet to change. Well, you haven't met Cassidy yet. Right. Well, listen, there's a group of heroes meeting over at Avengers Tower to talk about this whole invasion thing. Let's go tell them what we know. Seriously, this is the dream team? Where's that pretty boy that throws the hammer around or the hot redhead in leather? You know, believe it or not, there are places other than New York that have problems. If they could be here, they would be. It's true. The rest of the four are off dealing with a crisis in Latveria. Though Ben may be able to come around. Peter, speaking of redheads, I just spoke with Fury. S.H.I.E.L.D. is taking good care of Mary Jane. Thanks, Kat. I've been keeping up to date. And I'm sorry for my associate. He's... psychotic. Well, we're about to have more hands on deck. Osborne and I are about ready to launch the task force. Right. Osborne just reached out to me about that. Well, the Peter Parker me. He wants some pictures for the announcement. Who the heck is Osborne? Really? You were a journalist for how long and you don't know who Norman Osborne is? You know our memory's been fading. Brock, I'd like to borrow a sample of that specimen. Memory loss parallels a theory of mine. Whatever. Nerd. Well, we've located several symbiote hubs. Hopefully they'll lead us to this Cletus Cassidy. Brock, you can come with us. Parker, go talk to Norman. Get the photos ready for the announcement of the task force. Let's try to keep the citizens of New York calm. Hey, Mr. O. Sorry I'm late. Jonah's got me all over the city right now. No apology ever necessary, Parker. In fact, you're right on time. Look who's home. Harry, welcome back, man. How was Europe? Well, it wasn't covered in aliens. But I guess Tony and Dad are about to take care of that problem, huh? That's exactly right, son. While the heroes of this city are unreliable, citizens can now rest assured that real help is finally here. Peter, take a photo of Harry and me here with the task force. It is time for the official announcement.
much do you actually know about Cletus Cassidy? Not much, other than what the Bugle printed about him when he first got famous. I know he commonly killed other killers. His first victim was his very own grandmother. He watched the life leave her eyes. He was fascinated by it. He commonly kills killers because he figures that if he takes the life of those who take lives, he'll get answers about life and death that he's always wanted to know. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But then again, these crazy seldom do. That hub we're looking for is just up ahead. Let's go. Man, look how many there are. This has got to be where Cassidy's held up. Don't let the horde fool you. We've already taken down three hubs and still no Cassidy. Let's get down there. Ugh, this place is disgusting. No offense. Let's just take this out. One of these has got to lead us to Cassidy. Thanks. Don't mention it. Ever. Brock! Ah, oh, jeez. What happened to you? Did you absorb that entire hub? <laughs> Eddie, come on! I know you're still in there. Fight it! Wake up! Seriously, dude, I just fought you. I don't want to go through this again. Wow, he's stronger. All right, bro, come on, calm down. Oh, that was new. You with the task force? saying Eddie absorbed an entire symbiote hub. That's what it looked like, yeah. And it's the strangest thing, Reed. Typically, Eddie just cloaks himself from my spider sense, but this time, man, it felt like my brain was gonna crawl out of my head. Hmm. Well, I know that at one time you had a bond with that symbiote, and that's why it's able to hide from your spider sense. Perhaps now that it's been disrupted, it affects you on a deeper level. Well, whatever it is, I prefer what it used to do to my brain. I can only imagine. And Parker, while we're on the subject of brains, I analyzed that sample I got from Brock. My theory was unfortunately correct. You see, the Clintar, while in our atmosphere, gives off a wave of radiation. Brock has been overexposed and infected with something that could be considered equivalent to brain cancer. So absorbing that hub just doubled down on the danger he's in. Yes. And as for the rest of the city, if we don't stop this within a timely manner, assuming we actually do stop this, the citizens could experience the repercussions for years to come. You gotta be kidding me with this. One little alien invasion that shut all the bars down? Where's the mutant supposed to get a drink around here? And what exactly are you supposed to be, bub? <laughs> You're one of them aliens, ain't ya? Your shenanigans are getting in the way of me having a beer. I don't take kindly to people taking away my beer. I got the clue. You want a bar fight? I'll give you a bar fight. That all you got? Gonna have to do better than that. Alright, Bubba, 
that's enough. Don't make me rip you a new one. I'm warning you. <sighs> Stupid alien. Captain Saul Venom heading to the sewers. Let's head out. Hey, Tony. Sorry I'm late. Logan, Ben, glad you guys can make it. I guess the rumor of the missing superheroes is only partly true. I hear your latest encounter with Brock didn't go so well. All right, that reminds me. What'd you just do? I borrowed a shotgun from your task force, buddy. Just wanted to install it. Speaking of encounters, Logan, I heard you uh, ran into Brock. Yep, I killed him. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not hear me when I literally just said Cap saw him going down into the sewers? <laughs> You don't smell right, Stark. You're a weird little man. Tony. Tony, do you read me? Comms have cut out. I guess I'm going it alone. There he is in better shape than New York. Can't believe I'm saying that. Nice to have you here, Grim. Though I gotta say Johnny would've been more conducive. How about you just appreciate what you got, Webhead? Okay, but you gotta say the thing. I'm not saying it's clobbering time. <laughs> you said it. Stupid aliens. Hey, Tony, I'm actually impressed. Yeah, why well, wouldn't you be? Why don't you head down to the sewers? We'll take care of the rest of the horde. Right, because Spidey always has to go into the sewers. So why ain't you giving me one of those glider things yet, Stark? Oh, you know, because I don't trust you. Alright, this is pretty well managed. Let's check on Spidey in the sewers. This is more disgusting than usual. All right, Cap, where are you? What the? Oh, no. I'm coming, Cap! Stark. What did I just say? Keep your mask on, my boy. I ain't your boy, Stark. And I'm not convinced that that's you under your mask. Satisfied? No.
Before I have to listen to those morons bicker for another second, I'm going back to Latveria. Oops. Too hard. So how strong are these shot gauntlets? Holy! I'm gonna have to adjust the power on these things. Gosh, I melted them. All right, Captain, where are you? <laughs> Cap? Oh my gosh, did Eddie do that to you? You see, this is why I work alone. Anytime you other superheroes fight one of my bad guys, this crap happens. Solution is perspective, which is a wide range, especially when half truths fall from that range. Alright, Rogers, I'm gonna need you to fight this one on your own. This shotgun is way too powerful. Hey, get down. I know climbing walls is fun, but come on. <laughs> I am so sick of these symbiotes. All right, let's weaken these. This is gonna hurt.
Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Spider-Man! Big fan. Not of your execution. You see, it lacks a certain... Execution. <laughs> what the? That's not Brock talking. Or the symbiote. Who is this? Cassidy. And Bingo was his name! But you can call me Carnage. Are you the one making Eddie do all this stuff? And now you. You know, your bond with that Glendar is remarkable. And in truth, I'm not actually controlling either of you. It's all you. I might be behind the wheel, but you're pushing the gas. What are you talking about? The symbiote, as you call it, simply exposes what's already there. Your speed, strength, agility, rage, killer instinct. I'm not like you, Cassidy. I don't murder people. Oh, but you want to. I can feel it. You want to kill Brock? Me? The Goblin. You're wrong, Cassidy. And speaking of, what do you know about the Goblin? I know who he is. Who is he? Ooh, that pulse is pounding. You really do want him dead. No, no, it's not. It's not like that. I just, I just need him dead. dead. Oh, you are here. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Doesn't it mean if you can stop something bad from happening, you have to? No matter what. I won't kill. Eddie, it's Cassidy. He's the one controlling you right now. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to use this shot gauntlet. It's gonna hurt. Brock, is that you? You're gonna have to use heat too, stupid! Ugh, I'm not getting paid enough. Hey! Alright, I hope this works. <laughs> Eddie? You good? That hurt, Parker. Would someone like to explain to me why we're not gonna gun him for what he just did to the city? He was under Cassidy's control, Logan. So was Cap. You gonna gut him too? I'm sorry about that, Peter. Don't sweat it. Could have been worse. You could have been like a zombie or something. Brock, are you sure you're alright? We're fine, Parker. Don't touch us. In fact, we're better than alright. The hub that we absorbed connected to Cassidy's hive mind. He was communicating with us. Communicating through his mega hub. We know where he is. Mega Hub? Well, that sounds promising. Where is he? Where it all began. He never left Ravencroft. Well, it sounds like it's time for Project Maximum. Project Maximum? Yeah, it's basically a Hail Mary of the task force that Osborne and I put together. It's a sonic bomb that can pretty much destroy anything. Wouldn't that destroy the entire structure? Yep, and everything inside. Jurassic Times. So Cassidy would be put to death? No, he's ours. You can't have him. Eddie, wait up! Peter, catch up with Brock. See if you can keep this contained. Logan, Ben, we're going to attempt to evacuate the area. Then Tony, get things ready for Project Maximum, but last resort only.
Brock, wait! This is potential suicide! Then turn back, Parker. You clearly don't have what it takes anyway. We can't believe you let us do so much damage. Oh, uh, excuse me. Aren't you glad I didn't kill you and actually gave you the opportunity to redeem yourself? Whatever, just remember. You're only coming along to find out who the Green Goblin is. But Cassidy is ours. I thought I was coming along because you needed my help. And we thought we told you not to rub it in! Alright, that's definitely a mega hub. Let's get in there. Brack, hold on. I gotta tell you something about that symbiote. Save it, Parker. We already know about the cancer. Wait, for real? Then what are you doing sticking with it? Believe it or not, we're not that bad. You're just a prick and we get mad sometimes. But we want to help the innocent. And we're gonna do that. No matter what. Wow, Eddie. I guess I understand that more than you know. You got a great power and... You can do something with it, despite the consequences. Because, hey, with great power... Shut up! Well, that was rude. Put us in... You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Why would they give you your arms back? I'm seriously starting to question the validity of this establishment. Well, I'm sorry, Otto, but these things are definitely going to have to go again. I'm pretty sure whoever reattached them didn't do a very good job, so this should be easier than last time. All right, dog, let's get that thing off you. Let's get you back in your cell and wrap this up. Ugh, that was horrifying. Gosh, it smells in here. Brock! Did you find Cassidy? Eddie? Is that you? Dude, where are you? Brock! What happened? So you must be Cletus Cassidy. Yeah? Cornish. Uh, I see you got one of those shot gauntlets. Is that for me? Looks tasty. Ooh, yay! Trying to give me heartburn, though. Alright, Cassidy, you've had your fun. Get ready to lose that head. Okay, Tony. It seems that we were able to evacuate the surrounding area. Cool. And Project Maximum is booting up to launch. What? I told you last resort only. Venom and Spider-Man are still in there. Well, unfortunately, once it's prepared to launch, it can't be stopped. Like I said, drastic times. Am I reading this correctly, Stark? Did you launch Project Maximum? Uh, duh, Osborne. We had to. But don't worry, this is Spider-Man we're talking about. He'll get out just in time. 
Tony, what's wrong with you? I wonder if I'll get as many answers from killing you as I did from Dr. Kafka Brock. Whatever, psycho. We'll let you know how many answers we get when we take you out. <laughs> You're very optimistic, Brock. <laughs> Got your face, man. Eddie, what the heck? You didn't say you could turn his hands into blades? Parker, he can turn his hands into blades. Watch out. <laughs> is it just me, man, or is everyone feeling a little bit of a rumble? My symbiote hub's telling me that something big is on its way. If my spidey sense is tingling correctly, it feels like a bomb. Yeah, it's called Project Maximum. Project Maximum? That sounds freaking awesome, man. I gotta check this out. You won't be allowed to check anything out, Cassidy. This thing's designed to destroy you. Sounds like we'll get tons of answers about life and death. Can't wait! Come on, Brock. Let's really show them what maximum means. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, so we're just running toward the bomb? We've got to warn Spidey. I don't know how to explain it. There's something off about Tony. I knew it! Okay, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. You've turned yourself into quite the atrocity. Oh, I like that. Atrocity. Brock, do you like that? I think our new name needs to be Atrocity. Your new name is gonna be Mush if we don't get out of here before Maximum arrives. You can't get answers about life and death if you're dead yourself, Cassidy. <laughs> Neither of us have experienced death. So how do you know? Call it a hunch. Brock, can you hear me in there? There's no more Brock. No more Venom. No more Cassidy. No more Carnage. Just Atrocity. Get that mask off, so I can look into your eyes as you die. I really don't think that you're paying attention to the pressing issue here. <laughs> oh man, Brock's Clinthar has been corrupted again. My head's doing that weird brain thing. I gotta get them out of here. Cassidy, we gotta get out of here. I'm serious, my spider sense is going crazy. That bomb is getting close. Oh, Parker, I'm trying to fight him off. I can't get him out of my head. Get back in there, man. So, you wanna take this outside, Spidey? Okie dokie. You gotta stop worrying about this bomb, Spidey. You got me! We're both gonna bite it if we don't get out! I'm serious, Cassidy! I kinda want you to stay alive so that you can take out the goblin and find that true killer instinct inside of you. But I know you don't have what it takes. Or do anyone know why? It's cause I am Maximum! It's coming!
I really gotta stop getting blown up. Hard Cassidy. Talk. <laughs> Spidey. You fight real good, man. I said talk. Who's the goblin? I like that aggression, Spidey. All right, I'll tell you. The goblin is Cassidy! <laughs> hey there, Parker. Goblin. Parker, help. I'm coming, Brock. Ladies and gentlemen of New York, this is Norman Osborne speaking of Oscorp Industries. I am happy to announce that thanks to the Oz Stark Task Force, the symbiote threat has been completely eradicated. There is, however, much work left to do. The individual responsible for this is unfortunately still at large. But I will not rest until the Green Goblin is brought to justice. Which is why I've decided to run for mayor in the next election. I do not feel that I can truly protect the city until I have been granted this privilege. I am prepared and willing to do whatever I must for the fine people of this city, no matter what. Mayor? Wow, that's ambitious. You must be proud, Harry. Dad's gonna do great things for this city, which is more than I could say for Spider-Man. Hey Brock, you still sulking about the fact that you didn't take out Cassidy or the fact that you lost your symbiote? I'll tell you right here and now, Parker. If you don't take out the goblin, you're gonna feel a huge amount of regret. Or maybe the opposite's true. Whatever, man. But listen, uh... Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Ever. And dude, get that cancer thing looked at. Man, it was hard not to say we. I know you can't hear me, but talking, it just helps, sort of. I still remember it like it was yesterday. The goblin came out of nowhere. I've been dealing with different things for a while now, keeping me from finding him. But then Cassidy- <laughs> Hey there, Parker. Goblin. That rage I felt when he took you from me. His back stronger than ever. I'm questioning my methods. The domino effect just continues to be true. I... I saved Wilson Fisk from the Goblin. He got a hold of my secret identity. And then you. I still don't know who he is. He's connected to Oscorp somehow, stealing their tech, stealing their symbiote creating an invasion with it. Which, of course, Tony and Norman saved us from. The day you died, I made a promise that I would bring the goblin to justice and avenge you. I'm sorry it's taking so long. But I'm going to keep it. Spider-Man, what's up? Uh, you know, Tony, just swinging along. What's up? So you know the antidote that you created that helps turn the lizard back into Dr. Connors? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, so I need you to bring a dose of that to the Bronx Zoo. Uh, why? Oh, you see, he's on a rampage. What? The doc promised he'd never use that formula again. <laughs> you actually believe people when they make promises? Well, yeah, like they give people the benefit of the doubt. Huh. Even the goblin? Let's just go. He's actually in the fake dinosaur exhibit. It's kind of on the nose. I guess he wants to be with his own kind. Dr. Connors, what are you doing, man? You said you'd never use that formula again. It's really not cool to break your promises, dude. I see things clearer than ever, Parker. I never should have abandoned my vision of involving the human race. Scales and lizard breath definitely is an evolution. What do you know, Tin Man? Connors, come on, you know that's just a serum talking. You say the same thing every single time you take it. You're speaking like a child, Parker. Thank goodness for the goblin. If not for him, I never would have taken the serum again. I see so clearly now. You hear that, Parker? It was that goblin friend of yours that turned him back into a lizard. Yes, for you, Parker. How could I ever let you talk me out of my vision? The goblin must have drugged you against your will, Dr. Connors. Come on, fight it! I may not have been a willing participant at first, but I wasn't seeing things the correct way. Whoa, it's not the ripped off tail thing. Oh crap, you already grew a new one. All right, Doc, this better be the last time I gotta give you this injection. All right, Tony, he's sedated. He should return back to human form soon. Do me a favor though, and don't talk about this with anybody. The world still doesn't know that Dr. Connors is the lizard. Oh yeah, isn't that how you got Eddie fired at the Bugle? Because you, like, messed with his evidence and ruined his credibility? Yeah, I'm not really proud of that, but that was a long time ago. Doc Connor should be fine. Good. I imagine that antidote could stabilize all kinds of things. Wow, I haven't fought the lizard in a long time. I forgot he packs quite the punch. No, text from NJ. I know, I want you home too. I'm working as fast as I can. I miss you too. I'm sorry this is taking so long. Yeah, he kinda is. I'll talk to you soon, love you. Man, she's been a shield since the fist take down. Whoa! I felt that one. I'll set off my spider sense like that. You.
You're gonna regret coming back, Goblin. When will you learn, Paco, that I'm the one that makes you stronger? So come on, let's see what you really got. <laughs> Tell me who you are. You, I'm the guy that's gonna bring you to your full potential. Hold on tight, Parker. <laughs> I've always loved your grit, kid. Boys got some fight in them. Who the? Kinda copy in my look, huh? What's the matter, Harvey? Cat got your tongue? Did you swipe your glider tech from old man Osborne too? I'm impressed! Who are you? <laughs> you moved pretty good on that thing, imposter! Hold up! 2v1? That's not fair! I'm out of here! <laughs> What did you just call me? Norman Osborne? Yes, Peter, it's me. And I know about you. We need to talk. Parker, Peter, do you hear me? I hear you, and I think I'm gonna be sick. You're telling me Harry's the one under the mask? Look, Peter. Now how about you look? Do you have any idea what he's done? He's dying, Peter. Dying? What are you talking about? Yes, he's dying of the same disease that killed his mother, in fact. Peter, Harry never went to Europe. We've been treating him. Yeah? And what are the symptoms of this disease exactly? Putting on a costume and killing people? I know about Gwen, Peter. And I'm truly sorry. I thought you'd never apologize. Perhaps there's a time and place for everything. But I can assure you, Peter, Harry's completely unaware of his actions. What are you saying, he's like brainwashed? Essentially. It's called the globulin green. The treatment. It's designed to remove imperfections and give them a stronger foundation. It increases the physical strength of a being, but completely diminishes the brain. If you recognize these things as consequences and side effects, why are you still giving it to him? 
Treatment halted the moment any of this happened, partner. Remember, he hurt Oscorp too. But the globulin green is incredibly addictive. Harry unfortunately continued to take it without my knowledge. And then, well, Gwen, I just want my son back, Parker. And I don't want to ruin his reputation for my mistake. That's why I'm dressed like this, using our tech. I'm trying to do it quietly. Will you help me? I still feel sick, Norman. But Harry's been my best friend a long time. And I have to admit, this changes things. I'm gonna help you. Thank you. You're a good friend, Parker. Thank you. Crime is here, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. You're back! Where's your little sidekick? This is between you and me. Goody! Let the Goblin War commence! I know who you really are. Everyone does, fool. I'm the Green Goblin, or the Kingpin of Crime, or the Big Man. That's me. I'm the new guy. <laughs> I want to know who you are. Osborne? <laughs> Holy crap! I stole all of your tech and you created the Green Goblin, essentially. Thank you. Oh, and a big thank you to the fact that I was able to create an alien invasion because you guys were doing all the space work. <laughs> well, this is how I right the wrongs of our involvement. No offense, Ozzy, but I'm definitely not going to be voting for you. <laughs> of Osborne in action. Parker, are you listening? Parker! Yeah, sorry, JJ. My head's elsewhere. We'll get back to Earth! Norman Osborne, or should I say the soon-to-be Mayor Norman Osborne, is the hero this city needs! I thought you didn't trust anyone that wore a mask. You missed the point, Parker! Osborne isn't like Spider-Man! He takes the mask off! JJ, you do realize that Norman was helping Spider-Man just a couple days ago take the Green Goblin down. Wrong! Osborne is way too sophisticated to hang out with those weirdos. If you can't beat them, join them, then destroy them! What a slogan! Literally the anti-Spider-Man! But I'll tell you what, Osborne needs his own superhero identity. Hmm, he's kind of creepy looking when he wears that mask. Let's call him the Hobgoblin! Miss Brandt, patent that Hobgoblin! You heard it here first! Man, Osborne has good timing. With all these superheroes allegedly missing, we finally have someone looking out for us. Missing? What are you talking about? I thought that was just a rumor and it got debunked. Nope. Masked heroes are disappearing everywhere. It's like music to my ears. 
The ladies have been Captain America, Wolverine, and The Thing. Why are you still here? I said get me pictures. Go! Hey, Fury, have you been sending a bunch of these heroes on, like, off-world missions or something? Negative. Why do you ask? Really? Do you have any idea why they're apparently missing? I do! Harry? Please call me the Green Goblin. Look, Harry, your dad told me everything. I know you're not really in control. For now, let's forget about our issues. I want to help. Peter Parker always playing the good guy. <laughs> Follow the coordinates I just sent you. Let's have some fun. Norman! I'm on my way to see Harry. He just reached out to me. What? You know where he is? Send me the coordinates. All right, but listen. I want to help him, but he's dangerous. He's unpredictable. I might have to put him down. I understand. Believe me, Parker. I'll be there every step of the way. Doing what needs to be done. Not here. Keep it cool, Parker. He doesn't know what he's doing. Harry! All right, Parker, I want a real fight from you. So none of that cliche, I don't want to hurt you, Harry. Come on, give me your best. Just remember the sound of Gwen snapping. You're right, Harry, I don't want to hurt you, but I'm going to do what I have to to bring you back. Harry, please, I'm trying to save you. Man, can I be in one fight that doesn't end up on a train? Ha! What's the matter, get motion sickness? Impressive! So, Parker, tell me, how's Gwen looking? Getting thinner? I'm begging you, man, please don't say things like that to me. <laughs> what's the matter? Am I making it harder for you to keep that little code of yours? Come on, I know my best friend's still in there. What do any of us really know, Parker? <laughs> this is nice. My old man never played catch with me. Oh, almost got you that time. What the heck is that, armpit hair? You amaze me, Parker. Where do you come up with this stuff? Time for a little more fun. <laughs> Queens, home sweet home. Hey, didn't your uncle die over there? Whoa, you're coming in hot. Was it something I said? I absolutely hate what this globulin green makes me want to do to you, Harry. Really? <laughs> I love it. Just imagine if you fought this well the first time. Gwen might still be alive. Is there any part of my friend still in there? Let's find out at the finale.
the heck is wrong with your face? Norman! It was you? It was you! Parker, wait. The show is about to begin. What are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen of New York, this is Norman Osborne speaking of Oscorp Industries. I have done it. I have uncovered the true identity of the Green Goblin. And it saddens me to tell you all that it is none other than Peter Parker. You've got to be kidding me. Your old friend Chameleon looks pretty good, doesn't he? Chameleon? Now, you may be wondering, who is Peter Parker? I regret to inform you all that he is my son's best friend. I hate to reveal this to the world, but the truth must come out. Some time ago, my son was exposed to a radioactive spider bite. Yes, he is Spider-Man. You see, Peter became very envious of my son's powers. So he and his good friend, Dr. Otto Octavius, came together to create supervillains to kill him. When he and Octavius were unsuccessful, he decided to steal the Clintar from Oscorp and create an alien invasion with it. You have absolutely no proof of any of this, Norman. And if you would like proof, please direct your attention to the monitor. Seriously, you deep faked me? Actually, it's from Mysterio's Illusion Tech. After all, it comes from Oscorp. Excuse me, Dr. Otto Octavius, while he was working in Oscorp. <laughs> Excuse me again, you and Octavius. No one is going to believe this. Right, because people never blindly follow the media. As the leading candidate for mayor of this great city, I will not rest until this monstrosity is dealt with. Everyone Peter Parker has hurt will receive justice including Gwyneth Stacy. You're absolutely disgusting, Norman. And where is Harry? Norman? Parker, if you're out there, you're fired! How could you be so stupid? Norman was behind this the whole time. I gotta find Harry. And Chameleon's been involved this whole time. I, he could have been anybody. Mysterio Tech? Oh. Tony, what the heck are you doing? Guess again, little spider. Chameleon? Is that you? Great, no one's chameleon now, guys. I am Legion after me. And of course, I forgot how many there are. Dimitri, where's Harry? It is so nice to play with your head again, little spider. Also, are you not paying attention? You're Harry. Harry is Spider-Man.
Hillary is only a part of this plan. I cannot wait until you see what Goblin came up with. By the way, how does this couch cushion ever put up a fight? Osborne and I really did put on a great show for this one, huh? And we got you fired! And you really should have listened to Octavius. He was telling the truth the whole time. And you got him blown up at Ravencroft. Excelsior! What's this big plan, Chameleon? I will never understand why you broke up with this girl. Although she ain't bad either. Stop the mind games and talk! If I wanted to play mind games, I would just do this. Miss me? Oh my gosh. Norman's behind all the missing superheroes too. Just another part of his brilliant plan. And there is nothing you could... Thanks for letting me out first, kid. I know I always liked you. Yeah, no problem. How long have you guys been here? Well, for me and several of the Avengers, we were sent on some kind of off-world mission a while back, but it turned out to be fake and a trap. I myself was a part of that mission. I guess no one was able to use the invasion as the big distraction, just subtly picking them off one by one. That's right around the time the Thing, Wolverine, and Cap went missing. I'm just so glad MJ's been safe through all this. <laughs> Something funny, copycat? I just find it amusing that you think your precious little wife is safe at Osborne's prime target. Where exactly is Osborne, Chameleon? The Norman Osborne and Green Goblin that we once knew is no more. He has evolved. Thanks to that lizard antidote, he has become unstoppable. His project was perfectly stabilized. Thank you for that, Spider-Man. Again, you should have listened to Octavius. He was telling the truth about everything. And you've played into Osborne's plan pretty much perfectly. Everything from the fist takedown, the invasion, the Sinister Six, we've been able to study you, watch you, learn from you. So again, as I said before, he is unstoppable. And before you think that your wife is safe, perhaps you should turn around and uh, look behind you. No. Tony, please finish up here. I gotta go. Done to yourself, Norman. And is she wearing. Yes, I thought you'd recognize this little outfit. I gotta say, Mary Jane fills it out so much better than Gwen did. You're insane. I'm absolutely disgusting, Norman. That's the goal. We needed to make sure the Green Goblin was the worst villain this city had ever seen. You're telling me you actually want people to be disgusted with you? I'm not the Green Goblin, remember? You are. And between overthrowing Fisk's entire empire, creating the Sinister Six alongside Octavius, the symbiote outbreak, the death of Gwen, kidnapping all of the superheroes, you truly are this city's greatest supervillain. What is the point of all this, Norman? Simply put, I wanted to be on top again. When I created Oscorp, it was from the ground up. People had never seen such accomplishments. But then, of course, the popularization of superheroes came along, and well, people only cared about two things. Action and explosions. And if you can't beat them, join them, and then destroy them. Yeah, I intend to become the greatest superhero this world has ever known. And the only way to do that is to defeat, well, you, the greatest supervillain this world has ever known. Okay, so, so, you made a fake superhero 
and a fake supervillain, and you're going to have him fight, and people will praise you for beating the fake supervillain that's supposed to be me? Why is Harry Spider-Man? Well, it's really quite simple. Spider-Man is arguably the most popular superhero. Congrats on that. But we're going to change things. You see, the Green Goblin, you, are about to fight Spider-Man, my son Harry. And the Green Goblin, you, you're about to kill Spider-Man, my son Harry. This takes out the most popular superhero, ready to be replaced by me, the Hobgoblin, and covers up, you know, the fact that my son is dead. Harry's dead? Look, I know he was your friend and everything, but you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. I needed someone with a similar genetic makeup in order to test this. I wasn't going to be the guinea pig. That would be stupid. And until we had your lizard antidote, we couldn't stabilize it, so we broke an egg. I can't even fathom how someone could be so... deranged. I don't even know if there's hope for you, Norman. But you know something? There's a flaw in your plan. Please, enlighten me. Harry isn't Spider-Man. I am. You, get us someplace safe. And you. Come on. The heroes have all been set free, Stark. I must return to Wakanda. My people need me. Though, I would check up on Bruce Banner. He appears to be acting... off. Tony, T'Challa told me about the lies that Norman Osborn is spreading about Spider-Man. We need to clear his name. Hmm, this is weird. What is it? It looks like Pete turned on the cloaking system on the Hellcarrier. It's like he doesn't want us to find him. That's it, Spidey. Keep up the fight. You're making Goblin look worse and worse. Ha! 
How could you do this, Norman? Nothing's more important than power. Nothing's more important than power? How about all the innocent lives? Like Gwen and your son! Trust me, Norman. Power's nothing without a sense of responsibility. If you're finished, allow me to demonstrate Some kind of explosion. There you are, Spidey. The cavalry's on the way. I always thought you were more of a go-getter, Parker. You always impressed me. But just like my son, you're a disappointment. Whatever. At least my plan's coming to fruition. Norman, you don't have to be like this. I used to be like you, putting my status before others. But trust me, it only leads to tragedy. Loser talk. Norman, we're heading towards the city! Good. Just imagine how heroic I'll look taking out the goblin after he kills that many people. If that's how you feel, Norman, then there really is no hope for you! Oh, stop the preaching! I've been watching you for a long time, Parker. You're weak! You don't have what it takes to accomplish anything! You let that stupid little moral code rule your life! With great power comes great responsibility! What's that even supposed to mean? It means... If I can stop someone like you... I have to. No matter what. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, what do I do? What do I do? The controls are destroyed. What? I can't steer. Maybe I can do it manually. Gosh, please work. Come on, you got this, you got this, you got this! Come on! Ah! Come on! Park, you can do this! You can do better than this! Okay, okay, okay! You got this, you got this! Alright, Spider-Man, come on! Ah! Come on, Peter! I got this, Spider-Man! Ah! One, two, three! Ah! Kid. I couldn't save him, Tony. I just wasn't strong enough. Not strong enough? Dude, you just ripped a helicarrier out of the sky. You know what I mean. I do know what you mean. And you were strong enough to uphold your responsibility. Even if that meant doing something you didn't want to do. Thanks. I'm just gonna need some time. We'll take your time. But in the meantime, someone's here to see you.
Journal entry 60. I was 15 years old when everything changed. When my world crashed and fell around me because of me. Domino after domino after domino. Being Spider-Man has given me a lot and has taken a lot away. Because with great power comes great responsibility is what it means to be Spider-Man. And that will always mean others before myself never looking the other way and always preventing the bad, no matter what. This is my code, my choice, my curse, my name, me, alone. To be Spider-Man is to forever carry this burden on my own and everything that that entails. So I will be forever Spider-Man. I'm assembling an alliance, and after witnessing what you are capable of, I must say, it would be an honor to have you join. I do apologize for not seeing your potential sooner. Don't you dare apologize. I never do.